so here's what happened when I started recording Kingdom Come Deliverance. So in the last episode there was a bit of an audio issue, so I decided to run a test. I started the test as as I left in the last part near Ginger's hut, and I decided, you know what? Let's do. Let's fast travel back to Newhoff and do his side of the quest. And so I did. I fast traveled and I found a group of bandits trying to attack me in this rather suspicious carriage. So, as you can see, I fought, I lost, and I died. And so I thought, well, time to try again. And I fast traveled again. And I found yet another group of Cumans. I actually managed to speak with these ones and have them turn their backs on me, to which I decided, you know what's a good idea? Trying to fight four heavily armed Cumans in battle after they let me go. And so I did. And I fought, and I lost, and I died. Third time's a charm, I thought, and it turns out it was, because third time was a group of bandits with no arms, just torches. And I slaughtered them all. Like the pieces of crap they are. And I looted all their corpses, of course. So after this bit of banter and looting, I went back to Newhoff. And in Newhoff, I just went around, I asked for permission to bring Ginger back. They gave it to me, provided I gave them some comfort in saying that Sir Bernard would post some guards around. And after a while, I mounted on pebbles and we went riding back to Ginger. It wasn't a very, it was a little bit of a lengthy trip because there was no fast travel point near there, but eventually we did got to Ginger. We tell him he could return home and the lad was ever so happy. He even offered, he even offered to have us learn something from him about horses. Then it was quite fun because in my other fast travels, I was accosted by an armed man, and I thought, oh, not again. It turns out it was a faint-hearted knight. Turns out this was a guy that was obligated by his mother to take up arms and a suit of armor and go in pursuit of honor and a damsel in distress. He was quite bumbly in, us, in challenging us to a duel, to which I obliged, I asked him some questions to try and figure out what his motivations were, and I, he agreed to fight me for his vest. Uh, but I decided, after beating him, that I was kinda not content with that. You see, I had been accosted three times today, I had two death experiences, I'd lost quite a bit of time, and I was honestly feeling a bit under the weather. So I decided to try and knock him out, didn't work, went after him, and promptly battled him to the death, and took all his loot. And with a new set of shiny armor in hand and a new sword that will become my new main sword, as you'll see later in the episode, well, I went away, I called for pebbles, and we were off to Newhoff again. And so here you have what happened. Well, hello, hello, my dear friends, my dear viewers, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, I know this is a bit of an unorthodox beginning to the episode, but I had to run some tests to see if there was any more problems with the sound, because if you've seen the ending of the last episode, there was a bit of a problem with the sound. I don't know quite what happened, but I just had to make sure that it wasn't going to happen again. And in the meantime, there were some misadventures as 
you have been able to see. But now we are back in Neuhof and <coughs> sorry about that. We are going to speak with Captain Bernard to tell him what happened with everything. So yeah, I I wasn't feeling I am not feeling very generous today, hence why that poor knight had to to go. You know, the man just outright like he was a git. So yeah, I had to dispose of him just because I felt like it. So yeah. My respects to you. Hello, sir. Captain Bernard. I know who attacked no I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. <laughs> Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. All right. Good luck to you. And dialogue. And Sir Radzik is just here. We saw him, but I decided it was best to wait before talking to him. Lord be praised. What brings you to me? But you asked for me, you idiot. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, the whole story then. One of the Neuhof stable boys, a, a lad they called Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. All right. Why choose Merhaya? <coughs> it's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere, and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind, raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. All right. Do I have news about the investigation? I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Uja. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. I see. What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. All right. So that was it. I feel like I'm not going to do that. I am going to drop a quick save here. Because if anything happens... Whether it be I lose some bit of progress, I can pe pebbles. You, you are not right, my friend. Let Let's go.
Let's go, dear pebbles. Let's go. Okay, so. We have a mission in Ujits. But that's too far away. At least for now. So, I am going to do something I've been meaning to do, especially in the last episode. I'm gonna go on a shopping spree. But for now, I'm gonna go back to the Rete Mill, back to our dear Teresa, and see if she'll agree to go on that date with me. Alright. Here we are, back in the mill. Pebbles, the other way around, please. Ha! So here we are. Let me check the quest log. Okay, courtship. Go and see Teresa the mill wench before noon. Okay, so let's... Okay, she's somewhere around here, but I'm not going to see her now. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna rest. I have to eat. And there's a lot that needs to be done. Oh! There's this here that I still have. Do I have... Oh, the merchant's sword is no longer... Yeah, I got this from, you know, our mutual friend. So, yeah. This is a strength weapon, whilst shard is an agility weapon. I can equip the merchant sword. It, it is better, so... In the eventuality. I wanted to dress up a bit, you know, not to be wearing these these magic clothes to my date with uh, with the lady. So I had S wait. Did I not get it from the uh, no, not that from the other guy? Oh, maybe I didn't because I decided. Oh no, it's here. Decorated shirt. All right. All right then. I'm gonna take out my armor. No, I said take out the armor. Put up the shirt. Take out the gloves. But not the pants. Keep keep your pants on. Keep your pants on. Okay. Maybe... Yeah, you can use your scarf. Alright. Take out the van braces. Put on your shirt. And take the Waffenrock, please. Alright. Now take out your weapons, because... You need to be proper for the lady, Henry. You know... You can wear the sword, just because it gives you a, you know, an impressive look. Now, let's sleep till about, yeah, the next day, 7 o'clock, or, yeah, 7 in, no, okay, 12 hours is the most we can do. And I say, Henry, you're gonna ace it on this date. Oh, what happened? Oh, that was not my bed. Sorry. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Peshek. I was wrong in the bed, yes. But, Jesus Christ, Peshek. Just keep your knickers in a... Ugh. I'm out of the bed, I hey, was in... Lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid? Get up! What are you doing lying here? Get the hell out! Ah, <sighs> you are a git, sir. You can't sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Out! That is my bed! Oh, God. Okay, wash yourself, Henry. You watch yourself as much as you can in a throw. All right, so eat something. 
All right. Better not drink. I'm gonna drink this because it's gonna give me a few. It's gonna give me a few, you know, buffs. Okay, I still, I'm still hungry, so I need. Gonna eat some cracklings. I don't know if I'm still hungry or not. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm no longer hungry, so we are as good as go. So maybe I can. Okay, but she's still asleep, so mm. let's check Pavel's inventory because ah, everything he had is now is now clean. So I can go and sell it all whenever I want. So that is neat. I'm gonna do that after I deal with the date. Ah, Peshek, you lunatic. Alright, so let us sit down and wait for another hour or two. Okay, just, yeah, till nine o'clock. She's probably already up by that time, so we'll see. This is exciting. Going on a date, Sir Henry. Oh, get up. Alright. Where is she? Okay. Before noon. Alright. She's in here. She's up. Oh, okay. Don't let me be on your way. Alright. Good morning, Lady Teresa. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. I know, I know, am I right? Let's hey, shall we take a walk? Pashak! You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Ah. I say a stroll along the river is possibly the best option out of all these three, so... What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Yes, let us go. Let's go. I've put my best outfit for you, Lady Teresa. Alright, I shall wait. Don't I have anything for her, really? I mean... I have a silver ring. If she take it, I could give it to her. Where? Where are you? Okay, you're here. All right. All right, let's go. Your walk is very rigid, but I'll take it. So, how have you been? You can notice I haven't done this in a long time. Or hardly at all. But, uh, yeah, so... This is nice, huh? That was a good idea to go for a walk. Ah. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. Well, you are welcome. I'd you... love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No. no I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. That's disgusting. It is. I'm sorry for him. Henry, you stupid. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. So don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. Oh. I never dare to suggest such a thing. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's not doddle. No, let's not. Don't disgrace Last yourself, run. Slimy slug. All right. Run to where? Okay, I guess. So I'll keep running. I don't know where she wants me to run to, but I'll I'll do it. <laughs> I should be nice to the lady, but the quest 
literally says, don't disgrace yourself, run. So I am sorry, but I will run. Come on, I'll run backwards, if that's what it takes. Alright, uh, she's catching up. Right, give it a little more. Okay, there she is, she's catching up. This was the route we took to see that other mill guy, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> that was fun. It was. I have to admit sit down it here was. Next to me, Hal. I will. How okay, sit with Teresa. Okay, reputation gain. Oh, this is cool. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. I am, Sir yes. Has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Well, the lap of luxury or it's worth like any other. Eh, it's worth like any other. It's not. I, I suppose it's a job like any other. Of course. I'm sure it's no different than being a charcoal burner. You'll have to try harder than that. Well, at least she laughed, so... <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, come on, come on. Ah, it's just the smiley eyes well, for now. For Speak now. Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. What can I say? Uh, I hope your knees didn't buckle. Not really. I have my hands full with my duties. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. Let's go with this one. What? I hope your knees didn't buckle too. You rascal. You know what? Ask me another time. I another will, time. sweetheart. I will. The next time you come to see me. You will come and see me again, won't you? I oh, will. I don't know. I am awfully busy. Ah, shut up, you, you kid. You're not I'll busy. I'll be glad to see you. But now I have to go. Oh. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Oh, let them gossip. They don't have Facebook yet, so they need something to gossip Thank about. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. I will, Teresa, I will. In the meantime... No, wait, you know what? Wait, I'll, I'll give you that ring later. Alright. So, this is a long, long quest. Well, I guess it's kind of like Lady Stephanie's one, so... All right, so you know what? I'm going to Ujits, and in the meantime, I'll try to do to start this quest, Mightier Than the Sword, because I really, really want to start reading. So, Pebbles, my dear companion, we must away. The lady of our hearts stays, but we must march. No, thank you, old timer. I'm off. I am so off. So, but this is going to be it for today's episode. It's a bit shorter than usual, but with the additional shenanigans at the beginning, there is quite a lot of things that I have to edit, so it will be over for now. I am gonna keep recording and I'm gonna do a bit of a shopping spree in the meantime so not to annoy you guys. I will record it and if there's anything interesting, if I gain any skill or something, I'm just gonna compile it in a small video to present it at the end, at the beginning, sorry, at the beginning of the next video. So. Me, Pebbles, and the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance say our goodbyes to you, and I hope to see you next episode for some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.